What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now Lord Saladin and the Iron Banner are back for another week. Tuesday the 17th of March till the 24th of March which is just basically one full week. Uh, the Iron Banner leaves next week's weekly refresh. Now I did state uh, last time the Iron Banner was around you guys would have seen in my video if you were part of my channel then and that I was going to grind the Iron Banner till I got to that rank 5. I actually only grinded to a rank 2 and I just give up with it because there's nothing really that impressed me. Uh, nothing I wanted from the Iron Banner apart from a armor which all in all I didn't really need. Uh, but I am so gutted I didn't actually grind it. I mean because that foul winter's live shotgun, if you guys are a fan of PvP and you don't own this bad boy, you guys will understand just like me, how damn powerful that thing is. I mean, it's like a sniper rifle. I mean, I've never known something to hit me from so far away. The Foul Winter's Light is an absolute beast and I'm hoping it will be a drop in this Iron Banner. I really am. I'm not sure what the drops are. If you guys do know, let me know down below in that comment section. Well, let's just check out what Lord Saladin brings this time around. Okay, so we have leg armors, we have chest armors, and we have uh, the George's Hammer, and we have the Simulus Wrath. Okay, so you need to be a rank 3 to get the leg armors, you need to be a rank 4 to get the chest armors. To get the first weapon, a George's Hammer, you need to be a Iron Banner rank 4. And to get the Simulus Wrath, you need to be an Iron Banner rank 5. Now, let's start with the George's Hammer. Now, the George's Hammer is actually a great, great heavy machine gun. Especially for PvP, this thing absolutely wrecks faces. Now we all know you can roll these mods once you actually get the weapon. It costs you one more a light. Um, what we got on this bad boy, we have CQB Ballistics, we have Linear Compensator and we have Field Choke. We then have Persistence. This weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired. We have 1 of 5 damage upgrades. We then have High Calibre Rand, we have Hammer Forge and we have Quick Draw. We then have Grenadier kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade and then we have a further four damage upgrades. The roller mods you get on this Jordan's Hammer in my opinion ain't that great but like I said you can re-roll these mods. Let's take a look at the auto rifle. Okay so we have three sites, we have the Red Dot ORS, we have the Red Dot ORES and we have the Focus Lens FLS2. We then have Counterbalance, this weapon has increased stability. We have one of five damage upgrades. We have snapshot aiming. This weapon is incredibly fast. Perfect balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil. And we have single point sling. Switch weapons faster with quicker while aiming. We then have the last half full. The bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage. And we have a further four damage upgrades. Now, the actual mod you get on this weapon ain't too bad. I mean, you got counterbalance and perfect balance. Something this weapon actually needs. I mean, it's a high rate of fire, low impact auto rifle. To be honest, I ain't really keen on these. I mean, there's one in the game I actually enjoy to use, and that isn't for PvP, it's for PvE, and that is the Athens Epilogue. That's the only high rate of fire, low impact weapon I actually enjoy using in this game. I ain't really fussed about the Simmons Wrath. I mean, it ain't gonna be one. I'm gonna be racing back to the tower once I reach that rank five to actually buy. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. The George's Hammer, though, on the other hand, is a weapon I wouldn't mind actually reaching that rank four to actually own because it is a beast, it really is. But the one I really want from the Iron Banner this time around, hopefully it drops, is the Foul Winter's Lie. Like I said earlier on in the video, the Foul Winter's Lie is an absolute animal of a shotgun for PvP. It really is. Everybody who owns it and everybody who uses it against me in PvP wrecks me. I mean, the range on it is unbelievable. You might as well say it's a flipping sniper rifle. I'm telling you, the, the weapon is a beast. It really is. But guys, that is what Lord Saladin and the Iron Banner bring this time around. I will be ranking it to rank 5 this time around, I guarantee you guys, and I will bring you guys an update video on that once I do. But if you guys are looking forward to grinding the Iron Banner this time around, let me know down below in that comment section. Is there something here you need? Let me know. Thanks for stopping by as always, and peace out until next time. Peace!